Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to look at a new build of Windows 11. This is 25276 for Windows Insiders on their dev channel. Not much in this build, really, but a couple of interesting things to show you. Uh, also, as well as being available for Windows Update, this build is um, available as an ISO. So you can grab a fresh copy of this and create a quick clean install, or you can do what I've done here, create a virtual machine. I run that in there. So let's have a look at what's changing here. Well, the first thing is Task Manager. Task Manager has some improvements and uh, there's some improvements for other settings as well. So Task Manager, if you go to, this is really for developers, but if you go to a system uh, process, you can do a live uh, sort of memory dump now, a live kernel dump file. So you right click and select that and then that will create the, the dump and it sticks it in a location and your temporary data like that. So developers know what to do with this, but it's an interesting option for, for developers to improve troubleshooting. Okay, so other the other change with this one is around settings. Uh, I haven't got this change because I'm just rolling it out. But here it, it's showing my OneDrive settings. It also shows you if your Outlook.com um, is getting full. And that's included in here. So actually what they're doing is they're changing the storage so that attachments from Outlook.com get included in your OneDrive. So you'll see that space on there. So you'll see your, 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 how much OneDrive you're using and how much uh, Outlook attachments you're using. And that'll show you up on there. Uh, a couple of things that have changed as well is they've uh, disabled the updated Windows security file, firewall and dialog notifications um, to go back to the stat, they've gone back to the old uh, format, the original format. Right, um, on taskbar there are some fixes uh, for windowing that uh, so wasn't working before and they fixed some issues like that, uh, that's working okay. So they fixed some issues with uh, Explorer EXE crashing. There are some search fixes, they fix an issue with, with language issues um, and they fix an issues where tabbing wasn't working correctly. Because my search button has changed from a blue one um, all the time to now a, a grey one and then blue like that. Microsoft doing some experiments. On the other builds, on the beta builds, you get rounded corners on this but we've still got the square ones on here. They fix some issues with voice access and widgets. There are some new known issues with this one. Um, some users may be experiencing longer than expected install times. And they're investigating that. I didn't see that. This went through at the same speed as normal. And some insiders are experiencing freezes using the browser uh, in the previous after updates from the previous build. I haven't seen that one either. You still, if you've got an ARM64 device as well, facial recognition uh, still doesn't work. So you're going to have to use a pin if you've got an ARM device. Um, there's still some there's still some issues with the task manager taskbar I should say uh, that have carried over from the previous build like the theme not rendering correctly and some pro memory process issues. But that's it with this build. The main change is the live kernel dump and the settings that are, are coming soon from from OneDrive. Um, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the and our YouTube channel.